Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be talking about base luggage. So if you haven't heard about base luggage or base travel, don't worry about it. Not a lot of people have. It's only been around for a couple of years. And so the company was originally created by Shay Mitchell. And if you're not familiar with who she is, she's an actress that's well known for her character on Pretty Little Liars. I personally haven't seen that show myself, but I know that it's a very big show. A lot of people watch it. And that's why I decided to purchase, essentially purchase from this company. Now, I found out about it originally through Instagram's promoted ads because I'm an amazing consumer and I'm easily <laughs> lured in by advertisements and so i first saw a promoted ad first thing i noticed very very beautifully aesthetically pleasing luggage i think that's a problem that a lot of people have they want to have luggage that they feel represents them i think that their luggage was very beautifully made uh, Shay did an amazing, her and her team did an amazing job on this. So I give them a lot of props. So the, the items that I got were the Weekender bag, the DOP kit, the on the go essentials makeup case, and the passport and luggage tag set. So just to clarify my whole purchasing <laughs> dilemma, I purchased this on December 1st it was on a Sunday so it was during their Black Friday sale and they were hold they were giving 30% off 30% off isn't like an amazing discount especially for Black Friday but they're a fairly new company I don't know when they're gonna have a sale again Thursday rolls around and I thought you know what I didn't get any email confirmation on my shipment so then I sent an email no email response back the next day I reached out and said, listen, I really need to know where my luggage at. Can you, my, where my luggage at? <laughs> I really need to know where my luggage is at or where my, my shipment is, is at. What is my shipment confirmation? Did you guys ship it at all? So uh, no response from the email. I, their, e or their website says, if you have any issues, reach out by email, no, response from that email whatsoever and you're going to see a lot of complaints online regarding this situation so um when i didn't get response i acted like any basic karen-esque type woman would do i got paranoid and started doing research on the company and when i went to facebook that's where most of the reviews lied there they don't have a customer service phone number they don't have a location that you can make reviews on or do Yelp reviews or anything like that. It's basically on Facebook. So when I saw Facebook, they had, it started off as 3.1 stars out of five and then it dropped within that same day down to 2.8 stars. So that's when I started getting really paranoid. Oh gosh, should I purchase from a company that's you know going to do a like a long shipment? I don't mind waiting a month for something and I, <laughs> And I know that's ridiculous to say, but I don't mind as long as I know ahead of time. I know what I'm getting myself into. I, you know, I have a date that I'm going to be leaving. And so, I mean, waiting over two weeks for a shipment just isn't, you know, if I knew this, I would have purchased it a lot further in advance. But because of that, I started getting paranoid. Recently, a lot of packages in my building have been getting stolen. So if that package was to arrive when I was not here, I'm afraid that it could have been taken away and I wasn't here to claim it. And their return policy seems to not be very good, which is what a lot of the reviews said. If you want to return something, you're basically shit out of luck. So I was very worried and very panicky about making sure that I got my items on time. So. Um, when I did a little bit more research on the company, they were not listed on the Better Business Bureau. Um, another thing that I did was I started looking up their LLC. So the LLC uh, came up on LegalZoom as the name was still available. So then I went to the California Secretary of State website and sure enough, their <laughs> LLC was suspended. And so I thought, oh gosh, they're having some issues here. So another thing to realize too um, is that this is a new company 
the company's only been out fairly for the last like I think two to three years so right now they're going through some growing pains the only way you can get your your LLC suspended is if you're not reporting the income that you're making or if you are not paying your taxes your quarterly taxes um, to the state so and I'm not a lawyer by any means I just want to clarify that I don't know anything uh, when it comes to this this legal stuff but what I do know from watching other uh, lawyers talk on YouTube is that um, all the legal jargon that they have listed in their terms and conditions don't apply to you anymore if their LLC is suspended. The company no longer has that, um, that right to hold that against you. However, I hope they do get this clarified fairly quick because even though my shipment was a nightmare, it did ship and it, the shipping was a little bit odd because they they sent me a label on Friday saying that they shipped it but that was just the label being created it didn't actually ship until Monday I guess and then Monday I was like calling or not I was in calling sorry because they do not have a phone number I was um, using their chat system asking where my stuff is it hasn't come oh yeah it shipped already I'm like no it didn't ship already you just created the label but then at 10 o'clock at night I get a notification saying oh yeah your your items have shipped which I thought was really odd so I did end up getting them so I ordered my stuff on December 5th or December 5th December 1st and it is now December 12th so I got them yesterday on December 11th so just to give you an idea of the shipment however a lot of people on Facebook said that they've been waiting more than that they've been waiting like over three weeks and this has been happening since November so my suggestion if you're having this problem my suggestion is don't bother with the email go straight to the chat system because the chat system I was able to get fairly quick service um, right away each time they responded very promptly so don't bother with the email you're not going to get a response from them if you're thinking about purchasing items I would not suggest to purchase them right now from their website I would go to Nordstrom or Revolve because that's a safer bet for you if you're looking for something if you're looking for a confirmed shipment or confirmed date that would be your best bet um, right now I feel like they're having a little bit of trouble shipping it out themselves uh, but if, like I said, if you really want to purchase their products, which I highly suggest because I think these products are very good. I really do like their baggage, everything about it. And I'm going to go into detail a little bit more as to why I love it. But um, very good quality. I'm really hoping for the best. So this is how big it is. I'm very, very petite. I'm about five foot two. Um, so this kind of takes up my whole body when I put it on my shoulder um, and I'm like actually t standing on my tips to get the table here but basically um, if you're in the airport um, and they see someone of my size wearing this I don't think that they would pass this off as a personal bag because it just does not look like it's going to fit underneath the seat however some people don't pay attention to their surroundings and they don't pay attention to what they're holding so they might not be i also got this like little luggage tag as well this is that beige color and already you can see on the leather that there's dark marks and i'll get uh, a little bit closer later on in the video as well but i just kind of wanted to see I let you see the size the actual size of the bag because it's very it's quite large it's doesn't it seems like very good quality um, it doesn't seem very cheap at all the only thing that I would be worried about is if you purchase the same bag but in beige because I know that the beige gets dirty very very quickly I've seen a lot of the reviews say that they would not purchase that again but uh, some said that they used scotch guard on the beige color for me personally I just would not use beige uh, I just I get very worried about if I have to actually check this bag the way that the um, baggage handlers um, 
throw it around it just I would not want to do that so I would suggest definitely to opt for the black color if you travel often if you don't travel often and you're just taking this to a weekend use some scotch guard on it um, and then it should be fine from there okay so this is everything that I purchased from base I did take some items out just because I wanted to look at it and play with it a little bit but what we're going to do is start with the smaller items and then I'll get into the bag last if you'd like to skip again skip ahead you can click on the link below there's some timestamps there for you so this is the uh, this is the to go makeup case this is a bit smaller than the other larger makeup case that they have um, and it has two compartments on either side this first compartment has a mirror with it so this mirror can be folded up and you can place it on your stand and it sits by itself. So that is convenient to have and then it slips right back without actually being part of the makeup. And to give you an, an idea, because this seems very small, I don't know how much makeup you can possibly carry with you, but just to give you an idea, I have a few items and I'm sorry these I use these items quite often. so. They're a little bit dirty, so forgive me. This is the tallest brush that I have in my uh, case, and this is the MAC, um, God, what is that? It's the MAC 168. So if you have a MAC one, if you know the size of a MAC 168, then that's the, that's the size of it sitting into the this compartment. And then I also have this foundation and then I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So to give you an idea of what it fits, that's what it would fit. And then you can kind of clearly see what's in on the other side. It's going to be the same size on the other side. I don't imagine it being bigger than, or I guess it might be a little bit bigger now that I think about it. So on the other side, it's just a clear window. And then it has this, the other side had this too, but I just took it out. This kind of gives it some type of form when it's shipping. Um, you can keep that in there, but I'm not going to keep it in there. Um, again, so it looks like it's the same size. So we're going to put stuff like that. And then you can kind of see what's in your case. I'm going to be doing another video of how I pack my items and I'm going to be using this. So if you want to uh, stay tuned, you can uh, do that as well. The only thing I would be worried about with this makeup case is not even the case in general. It's more the color. So this leather is, I don't know if it's leather or if it's faux leather, but it's basically has this kind of like, it's not sticky, but it feels like stuff could get stuck to it easily. And another thing with this one, I'm not sure if you can tell in the camera, but I've had this just for overnight. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the look, but I don't think it is. I think that anything, it, it kind of attracts dirt very, very easily. And um, there's some black marks, I'm assuming from the black luggage. So if there's any um, inks or dyes that are very strong in clothing or anything like that, it can definitely rub off on this. So something cons to consider when purchasing um, this this is the passport holder um, it fits nicely kind of had a weird fit with the pen being there but if you kind of stretch it out and play with it it ends up fitting just nicely those are those okay um, and then this actually came with that passport holder it also came with this luggage tag I had a, have already attached it to the bag but this is really good for um, any travel soaps or anything that um, you may have or maybe makeup or anything basically you can use this it's very uh, general bag to use you can use it for anything and then I got the dock kit. Um, so this is for, you know, toothbrush, uh, hair uh, products like um, your hairbrush or any hair tools that you have that could fit in here. And it opens up like that. It's actually quite deep, fits really nice. On the inside, it has a little 
a special pouch for your toothbrush so you can keep that away. It also has two little, or no, I thought that was two, one large pouch um, in the middle there. And basically when you have all your stuff, you just kind of shrink it down and then zip it up. There's also a separate uh, compartment here. And all of these came with this type of luggage tag, which is really good. If you don't want to purchase a luggage tag, there's a generic one that you can use. Um, so yeah, then you have extra space underneath for, um, I don't know, any, any items, maybe, you know, items that generally get wet. Uh, you can kind of protect it. Looks like it's water resistant here. So that is the DOP kit. Next is the bag. So this bag is, honestly, I must say I'm very impressed with the quality of this bag. It seems like of just a very high quality bag and it's not priced that expensive although these bags are expensive you're paying for a good amount of quality there are bags that are much that are stylish that are much more expensive um, up in the you know $250 range and for this being I think like $99 or $100 or something like that it's um, it's actually pretty good quality. So this is, I'm gonna show you the inside. The inside actually looks like it's going to fit a lot. It also has, and I'm going to take this little clip off so you can kind of see the bag more. Come on, you. There we go. Oh, it's zip tied on there. Okay, so the inside is fairly large. It looks like it can fit a lot of stuff in there. I can I can see packing maybe like a week of items in here for sure because it's that deep. So in here it has this little pocket. You could um, most likely just put that, use that for your laptop because it has like a, a soft protection uh, in it so you can protect your laptop and then um, we'll switch it over here okay so then on this side you have a zipper and then you have two little pockets right here so basic basic stuff you also have this little clip so uh, that way if you want to put your keys in there and you just throw it in your bag. They don't get lost. You can kind of quickly find them. All right, so then that's that portion. So also, um, one of the good things about this bag is that it has um, this little compartment. So this could either be a compart, like something you can use as like a, a another pocket, or if you unzip the bottom, you can use uh, slide this onto the trolley uh, handle on your carry-on. So if you have like a, you know, a rolling carry-on, you can slip this on top and it'll fit snugly on there. Um, the front part of this bag has a zippered portion of it as well. So not too deep, but I mean, extra, extra storage there. And then what my favorite part is, is this bottom half. So this bottom half has, um, room for shoes or any extra items that you have um, but really i would like to keep this for shoes because i like to keep my shoes separated from everything um, because it's just sanitary reasons and i hate bagging them up i just want them to have their own spot another youtuber did a review on this bag and she mentioned that the bag kind of falls apart um, not falls apart but it, it folds easily without any um if you don't have stuff in there. So to keep its uh, stability, she kept this uh, cardboard part in the bag. So that's something that you should think about when purchasing the bag. I'm really grateful she made that video because now I'm not gonna be throwing this away. I'm gonna keep it so that way it keeps the bag stable. 
So that is the bag. And then again, if you want to keep this tag, you don't have to purchase the, um, the luggage tag that I did, but you can use this. And inside here, it looks like there is some information about, about, their, about their products. Yeah. Yeah, so just a little bit more information. Yep, see, there you go. So it has this little card that you can use to slip inside. I think that's very nice. So that way you can just use this as a luggage tag and you don't have to purchase one. So that is it. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you're having any issues with their shipments, what you think about their uh, products in general. I would like to know a little bit more in detail what your thoughts are. And then also make sure to stay subscribed and to click the bell notification so that way you can know the next videos that are coming up. And I will see you in the next video.